Brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we see that Paul comes alongside the Athenians and recognizes values that they have and tries to lead them to the gospel through that. We see it as a gentle approach to the gospel and a little bit different than some of the tactics that Paul might use, say, for example, with some of the Jewish people who would be arguing against Jesus. With them, he'd be a bit more gruff and a bit more direct. And it goes to show for us, too, that we are called to pray to God and utilize wisdom in how we proclaim the truth. There are some people who can hear what we have to say if we directly contradict them. And then there are other people who can't bear to hear that. They need a gentler approach in order to begin to lead them to the gospel. The saint we celebrate today, St. Leopold Mandich, who was a Capuchin friar, lived from the late 1800s to the mid-1900s. He was known to be a very gentle confessor. One time, a friar in San Giovanni Rotondo, where Padre Pio was hearing confessions, chided Padre Pio and said, you know, you should be a bit more patient like Father Leopold, a bit more gentle. And Padre Pio said, well, it's because Father Leopold sends the hard cases to me. (laughs) So we know each of the approaches is necessary sometimes. Padre Pio was known to be a bit more direct, a bit more gruff. We want to ask God, though, to know and to have the wisdom when to come alongside people and show them how the values that they already have reflect the truth of the gospel so that we can then attract them, as they say, more with honey than with vinegar, or when it is necessary for us to speak the hard truths that we have to speak, but of course to do so with love. And so we ask today, especially that St. Leopold Mandich will pray for us, that we may have the wisdom to know when to use the gentle approach and when to use the more direct approach and to always do so as a reflection of God's mercy and love. Amen.